What is it, Mickey? What gold, it? gold, gold. Gold? <laughs> wow! Look at the size of that bit! This morning, Mick and I have come to a brand new creek. We weren't expecting to find much, but we've suddenly discovered coarse gold and lots of it. And that's the stuff. There's a nice little inside bend here, and this is where we started checking because it's one of those obvious spots. And what we discovered was about 40 to 50 specks of pan. And that's remained relatively consistent. I traveled upstream and I found yet another deposit. Not as many specks per pan, but coarse chunky bits. This is just one half raw unclassified pans worth of dirt and you can see that the spec size in here is considerably bigger than what you're used to seeing on my channel. And that's the average spec size. And this is what I've collected so far. I don't know about you, but that is some coarse, chunky gold. I mean, this creek's just terrible. Like, why are we even here? Why are we even bothering with this coarse, chunky gold? It's such a waste of time. <laughs> this is my other hole. This deposit is super simple to understand. This is not the product of the water washing big rocks downstream and leaving them behind. This is the product of the water coming downstream and eroding all the soil from in between these rocks. And these spots almost always give you chunky gold, so you won't get as many specks, but if you do find some, they'll be nice bits. Still pan from here. No. Alright, we've got chunky bits. These pieces are on the smaller side of what I have been finding in this spot. We've got one piece just here and a nicer piece up there. And they have got some shape about them. Like you can actually feel that they're not flat flakes. And I've just been tipping all of those into my bucket. That's huge! Start moving rocks around and, and dig this guy up. Look at him. Yeah buddy. You get you get out of here, eh? <laughs> Heaps. Again, this sort of area is always a chunk or next to nothing and we only got a couple of specks in that pan. And the reason is pretty simple. It's when the fast water comes and strips this stuff away, it only leaves the heavy things. So the fine specks of gold, especially if they're flat and water warm like we have here, will go downstream with that fast water and only the big pickers will be left. And there's far fewer big pickers in the world than there are tiny pieces of gold. Every shovel Mick puts down puts just a ridiculous amount of gold on that V-matting. <laughs> and they're not exactly the chunkiest of shovels. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, you stay right there. Best part. I'm just dumping everything into the bucket to increase productivity. 
but I sort of check it on a whoa look at that little chunk yeah oh this is unreal this is meant to be a test panning day Mick just keeps pulling out chunks of gold and he's got to rescue this so it doesn't disappear and you'll never see it again look at it this is this is some strong gold pornography <laughs> And these are just the bits you've been picking up as you go. Yeah, just watching that after VMAT. Just what he's been snuffing up on the VMAT. They are rechonculously coarse. Holy crap. That, that for this area, well, I don't know about this creek here, but that is a freaking nugget, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was little bits building up. It was just one big bit. That's one big bit. No way. That's heavy too, dude. That is super heavy and real reefy. Shake that money maker. Mick, you're a dirty girl today. <laughs> it's just what the carpet crash mat caught. Come on, greedy guts. Here yeah. you go! So this time I dug all the way to the bedrock underneath that grey clay just to see what was there. And not too sure. A little bit of fine gold in it, but not heaps. See, I got one nice bit. One nice bit and just some little specks. Oh, I think Mick's got all the luck today. Been going for a little while now and everything Mick touches is literally turning to gold. You are crushing it. They are coarse little bits. That's no joke. That's wicked. That is no joke. That's all from that crevice. Mick and I have both consistently worked this edge here. We don't want to go any further in. So I've come around to this spot here and there's a little bit of jutting bedrock. So I'm going to take some samples out from this area. I got a little bit of gold, but man, is that stuff fine or what? I just yabby pumped off the bottom. It's a smooth bedrock, which is probably explaining why it's not holding heat. But the second pan is a lot better. Look at the spec count. So not as coarse as the bits old Mickey boy is pulling out, but plentiful. I just said to Mick, oh, I'll do one last pan before we pack up, and it's always the last pan that makes you want to just go for the rest of the day. Look at that, I finally got a picker. Oh, it's a big flat one. Look at that. That makes me really happy. I feel, I feel like a five-year-old in the creek now. <laughs> So first thing of note, there is a lot of iron stone in this and the pieces are really quite big. Like these, these are bits of iron, which is nuts. There are no pickers, decent spec count, 
not a bad way to end this amazing little session. This is my bucket of concentrate. But I just want to know how much gold Mick got. Sorry I couldn't take you to a good creek, Mick. Yeah. That's such a poor result. Good result for a lazy man. I don't think we should ever come back here. No. 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 I mean, these pieces of fly dust aren't worth it. Just aren't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be a test pan day and Mick probably got one of the easiest, chunkiest, coarsest bits of gold I've ever seen him pull. This is the stupid amount of gold I pulled panning next to a Clash Guitars pig and the sound of one hand clapping for a bit of scale. And I mean like, there are chunks, nanodots, specimens, just everything. That is an amazing amount of gold for five hours. But now it's time to get all of this on the scales. There is a lot of coarse chunky gold in this dish, so I'm gonna guess 1.207 grams. One point four one. That is a ridiculous amount of gold for just panning. It is worth 110 Australian dollars at the time of recording, which is a ridiculous amount considering I was just panning and we were meant to be there just to even see if the creek had gold. You can bet your bottom dollar that you're going to see a lot more videos in this spot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the show. And until next time, please give your dog a scratch behind the ears for me epic music and an outtake. Wow. You know, this is going to have to get an NSFW for... Uh... <laughs> this video because of that. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Demonetized. Too much strong pornography. <laughs> <laughs>